So is yoga as awful as you thought it would be? Yes. <laughs> You're in a league of your own, Danvers. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at us. We're that couple with the yoga mats and the flirtatious bickering. No, it's perfect, right? Emily? Hi. Hi. Uh, How are you um, back in town? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just, just for the week. I'm, I'm staying at the Baldwin. Oh, OK. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my, my girlfriend, Alex. Yes. I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. We used to date. Oh. It's been a lot of years. Yeah. We should catch up sometime. Sure, that would that would be good. Sometime. I should go let you guys get up to whatever you've got going on, but it was really good to see you. You too. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, yeah. What about tonight? What? Well, she wants to catch up. We don't have any plans. No, I can't. Come on, it's cool. Hey, do you see how cool I'm being about this? I mean, come on. Emily? Do you want to have dinner with us tonight? Uh, yeah. Sure. I have the same email. Just let me know where. We will. OK. See, that wasn't so bad. Maybe she's having trouble parking. She hates parking. She always valets. Well, do you want to try texting her? It's been 45 minutes. I'm sure there's a good reason she's not here. It's OK, Alex. No, it's not. Look, I feel bad. I, I can see that it was an awkward thing that I pushed you into. No, and it was thoughtful of you to try to get me closure. Emily's just, what? Well, when we broke up, she said some things that cut me pretty deep. And we were together for five years. It was the longest relationship I've ever had. So when she said that I didn't deserve to be happy, I figured she really knew me. And maybe she was right. No, it, it wasn't. And, and that was a terrible thing to say. It doesn't matter anymore. It was a long time ago. It does matter. Can we just get out of here? Of course. Check, please. Emily. Alex, right? Yeah. I wanted to come see you. I wanted to talk to you, just to see if, look, if this is about dinner. Why didn't you show up? I should have, but the whole situation, it just brought up too many painful memories. What about Maggie? And all the things you said to her back then, that wasn't painful? Anything that I said to her, she had coming. She dedicated five years of her life to you, and you bailed on her. I bailed on her. <laughs> Seriously, that's what, that's what she told you. She cheated on me. Sorry, I, I, I didn't know. I, I shouldn't have said anything. But the truth is, I just really want to forget about it. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go. 